Hey guys, Digital Lifestyle here, back with another video. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but there are people having a party, um, or they've been having a barbecue, I guess, all day long. And um, there's quite a lot of noisy children, great. Uh, let them have their fun. One likes them to have fun outside in the out, out outside to have fun. Basically, one should have fun. Well, everybody should be having fun outside and getting vitamin D in their body, having a natural, healthy lifestyle, and enjoying barbecues, enjoying um, cooking outdoors, enjoying the outdoor life. And it's great to hear that. It's great to 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 see uh, um, or feel that presence of of children doing that however there's one that is annoying but there's always one isn't there always one and uh, this brings me on to not talking about scams because scams are not the the, the 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 talk of today today is where tokens of utility are being used um in trade finance um xdc is one of the blockchains that has been used for that particular um aspect um, and there are many points I need to point out to you, documents I need to show you, and um, the connections with these um, blockchains, how XDC unlocking the power of XDC trading with trading bot, um, clearly AI, um, XDC liquidity for liquidity for trade finance, um, the Electronic Trade Documents Act, what's next for mass adoption of electronic bills, of ladling EBLS, I have no idea what that means, but we'll find out, um, and we'll talk about MLTER, MLTER, um, M no, so M L E T R Melter. I think that's spelled, but or said, but it's M L E T R, and we're gonna go over and have a video from Global Trade Finance and um, insights, news insights, and um, they're gonna have a talk. And hopefully that will wrap everything up for this video. Um, I hope you understand why I'm going to try to get to to where this channel needs to be and where you guys need to be understanding. We need to, we need to distinguish between the scams and um, stop being duped by these um, get rich quick schemes because they don't work. They work for a time, and that's honest. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna be honest, my my video yesterday showed there was a few that were dubious, if if you like, or suspicious, or um, had high scores. They've been around for a couple of years, maybe seven years, no, seven months, or whatever, or, or whatever long those those time frames were with these particular companies. Yet they weren't making it. They weren't making pull throughs. Yet within the digital space, you're having assets that are completely being ignored as a result of that people are getting into those scams and they're not seeing the difference between the scam and what is legit and what is actually going to be making you money long term uh, and i think people need to wake up to that fact uh, um, this is not a get which rich quick scheme there's nothing in the world that allows you to get rich quick unless you are at the head of some of these token launches and that's fact uh, uh, whether it be Pepe, uh, uh, Shiba Inu, Terra Luna, all those ones that went to the highs of like a hundred, um, Terra Luna, for example, went to over a hundred and I think it was maybe two hundred dollars per coin or something like that. Had you been in at the beginning and understood how this market worked and and and. Um, got out before the crash and had you invested say a hundred dollars or ten dollars even when it was like not point not 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 one pet not 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 do you know what i mean a cent of a, 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 a um of a penny because remember digital assets work in fractionals they are fractionals you can buy one or you can buy a fraction and when people get to understand that then they will understand how digital assets work like you can buy a fraction of Bitcoin, you can buy a fraction of Ethereum, you can buy a whole XRP, but XRP can be fractionalized just like Bitcoin because it started out now. 0.0000 per coin, 0.001 per coin, or whatever it was. 
um, and then as as people got into it, as people started to trade to trade these currencies, they be, they gained in value as a result of utility. But what we're in now is a utility driven market whereby people are building and developing um, products and services on chains that have utility and this is where we are at now we're at this stage in 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 the global revolutional if you like um phase of cryptocurrencies and blockchain as you will if you want to call call it that however you want to call it it, it could be uh, api keys that make things faster you could call it anything you like but blockchain is at the center of it all and it makes things quicker it makes things much more um, transparent and it, it, it affords equality if programmed right so let's dive into a little bit more about xdc i do have um a video about xdc um in my in the in, in some way in, in, in the channel and I think you guys can go and stroke uh, um, type in XTC in the channel to find out more about it but let's let's do this right XTC has become recognized for its outstanding preference in the no, present sorry in the trade finance industry the network is trustless blockchain designed to deliver scalability scalable efficient affordable and accessible settlement rail for a variety variety or variety of tokenized assets remember guys sometimes i struggle but i will continue i i i need to overcome this and this is something that's dear to me in terms of helping others to overcome their fears when it comes to the digital asset space and the utility that's within the digital asset space and and i think um when i say this and when i speak about it it's it's to help you gain freedom it doesn't matter where watch which country you come from it doesn't matter what nationality black white indifferent we're all being had right now when it comes to um the agendas that they have set in place for us and you and i have an opportunity to park our pennies if you will next to their dollars and if you understand that, you'll understand that you have an escape route out of this. And this is not financial advice. I'm not asking you, I'm not telling you to go invest in XTC or any one of those tokens, or whatever I mentioned on this channel. But it is to say to you, like when Google, Amazon, um, the other things like Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, um, I don't think WhatsApp was much much of a thing then, but um, you have all these other technologies that came before, and they were called the Web 1 technologies, if you will. And then you have Web 2, which was probably more technology-based in terms of the Facebooks and the search engine type things. And now we have Web 3, which is financial and immutable blockchain. And I think when you understand that, you understand where this whole system is transitioning to where you have uh, um, maybe certain um, platforms or, oh God, how can I explain? Um, entities that, or systems that will allow trustless either communication, trustless money or documentation to be signed where it is signed and it's immutable. Once you've signed that document, you have signed it and that is it. You've sent that money across and it needs to go to that destination. It's um, cheaper than the traditional system because remember the system we have right now, it's extremely antiquated. It has a man, many holes in it. Paperwork, um, you know, for trade documentation it is astounding um it, it takes a long time to 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 have trade um be actioned uh, or trade to be um done because of all the paperwork that certain countries have to have you sign and it's ridiculous amounts of paperwork and clearly 
if you look at the planet and, and want to save the planet, paper is made out of trees. So hey, go and think on that. Um, so we need to come to a, a place where it, um, blockchain is utilized much more fairer, greener, cheaper, if you will. Certain aspects of the blockchain um, which can be programmed into I don't like, but that's another story for now. But what I'm trying to say to you today is XDC is um, understanding the trade finance use cases. Put simply, um, trade, finance, f trade finance is the financing required to fuel movement of goods and services around the world. A number of obst obstacles including borders, ins insufficiencies, insettlement and different regulatory process policies as I was trying to say earlier on. Every jurisdiction has a different policy. You know, like take for Australia, they won't let cert they won't let certain um, things into their country. Like, um, say you 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 came from um, it doesn't matter where you came from, but just say for instance you had a banana um, uh, and it came from a different country. They're not going to allow you to bring that banana into the country for fear of contamination of their ecosystem. Um, this may be a bit longer video than I intended, but I hope you, you understand where I'm going with this and um, appreciate that I'm trying to deliver content and uh, an understanding into where we're going in terms of the regulatory um, um, infrastructure that is taking place, the, 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 the ties with government and three letter organizations that don't don't have um, legal precedent but then they do in an outward sense and they make decisions for the populace but that's another story yet again um, but we're moving into the digital age and it starts with trading it has to start there with some some um, obscure reason but it makes sense if you're not trading anything if you're not bartering if you're not doing anything with what you've got it, it, it stands to reason that it will stand there and rot so what is the point of having it sit there you might as well trade so trade uh, finance made simple using xdc will be the way going forward and I'm, I, I'll, I, will, I will talk about the documents i will or in fact I'll go through some of the documents, but this may be a longer video than I expected, okay? Hope you enjoy. Take care. Not for now. I'm not moving on. I'm, I'm, I'm not moving out. I am still continuing with, with this, with this um, topic. Um, but when I say take care, I mean take care in looking at this whole system to, uh, uh, and, and the changes that are taking place, looking at... Um, digital assets with utility looking at um, the changes that we will face um, some of it may be hard I don't know I don't know the future I haven't got crystal ball honestly but I do know we may hit some hard points until they um, put the change in place so moving on to the next um, document that I've found um, let me go get it. Hold on. This document really, really goes into a lot of detail in understanding um, the trade finance use case. Um, the difficulties that are here um, are really, really um, being explained. Matchmaking difficulty within the industry is compounded by lack of visibility for four small business and absence of trust as cost effective ledger on which to settle transactions and encourage uh, uh, in, and exchange vital information financiers typically banks desire to expand their reach in trade finance yet despite sufficient need for funding small businesses opportunity in this sector has been stifled due to insufficient centralized or indeficient sorry centralized systems which means you know 
a lot of these systems are controlled and governed and, and, and they set the rules and you have to follow those damn rules whether you like it or not. And that is the problem with the system that we're under right now. The system is breaking. You, you, you see all, all the news, and I've brought you some of the news from where the BRICS nations are actually trying to break away from a system that actually controls them. Where we see um, um, India, Russia, China, and all those other countries say, you know what, we're done with your sanctions because you keep bullying us. And that is the problem with the system that we have now. It's centralised and it's controls and it bullies. And it bullies to the point that it has bullied far too many countries and they are saying no, they are pushing back. If you look back to Africa and the, um, the, the, the stuff that is happening over there, where they're saying to the, the current colonialist, uh, colonialist government, no, we've had enough. We are giving you our resources practically for free. Yet you're giving us something for it, but our economies are suffering. Why should we do that? And this is what you need to understand when it comes down to trade finance and how the blockchain will make things equitable, fair, and a lot more cheaper for all countries, apart from those countries that have wealth. They will be paying the most. That includes countries like, Af uh, like America, and Europe. I'm sorry, but we have the wealth here to pay for those resources to help those countries. And if you don't like it, that is your problem. You are part of the problem if you don't like what's happening right now. If you don't understand that there's a massive shift where equality needs to take place in order to have a fair and, f uh, and fair system, then I'm sorry, you don't need to be in blockchain. You need to be back in the old system and they're clinging on to that old crap that did not allow um, other countries to develop at the same rate as our country has or, or, or your nation has. As a result, many of those people are living in poverty. 90% of those countries are in poverty. We cannot and will not, and I personally will not accept that because it's wrong. Anyway, I said this is going to be a long one. It may be a bit of a rant, but it's going to be a long one. Moving on to BSCA, a global community mobilizing supply chain with blockchain. Uh, this is their website, clearly. Um, this is no um, like run the mill stuff. And they uh, have services, advocacy, collaboration, education. By bringing together like minded professional, our our member-driven association Global um, Accelerate Adoption in Distributed Leisure Technology in Supply Chain through Standards and Dialogue to help shape policy with governmental agencies to improve services and help our community voice, our community's voice, sorry, be heard. Um, I'm not going to go too much into this document. Um, I will put links in the description or all this because I think this will help people to understand what is going on. Um, shape advocacy initiatives with different levels of government. Learn and interact with peers to advocate um, commercially viable results. Help build consensus and standards. Better visibility to industry projects and trends. A lot of the scams that you hear talk about sort of similar language but it doesn't really make sense when you look into it and the grammar is completely um, wrong I am dyslexic and even I can spot some of the grammatical uh, grammatical what is it, uh, uh, mistakes and why blockchain? blockchain and other distributed ledger technologies are emerging technologies that promise bring to bring efficiencies to supply chain related activities Enterprise level and permission, permission blockchains are being used today to bring trust and efficiency to various levels within the supply chain industry, uh, including sorry, uh, including smart contracts to digitally facilitate negotiable or negotiable, to, sorry, negotiable or negotiation. Sorry, 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 sorry. See, I told you this kicking negotiable or 
performance or con or contract. Our mission, the mission is to promote the rapid adoption of blockchain and DLT technologies and in anticipation supply chain networks, promote collaboration among supply chains, uh, enterprises, so it, uh, enterprises and IT companies, promote paperless and an electronic emission of the whole supply chain, industry and relevant government agencies. And they have a members page. I'm not going to go into too much of it. Never coming soon. Subscribe if you want to learn more. And they also have a LinkedIn page. Um, there's a lot more on this uh, website if you want to have a look. Um, the services page, ed education, events, and membership. For those interested in the membership, I'm not expecting anybody to be interested in the membership. Why would you? Um, you need to have this information. That's what I'm trying to say to you. Moving on, um, this was posted by Rosling Wing um, on the 8th of September. Unlocking the power of XTC trading, trade uh, XTC trading with Trading Bot, a step-by-step -step guide for market making bot. Now. I'm not interested in bots and all that kind of stuff, really I'm not. Um, but he goes on to say, are you ready to re revolutionize your XTC trading? Look no further than Trading Bot X, an all-in-one platform for crafting, deploying and managing automated trading strategies with seamless integration with a top crypto exchange like Bitfinex, Bitrex, Bitrue, Gate.io and KuCoin Trading Bot, uh, Trading Bot, X stands to stands out among the popular software with a hummingbird bot um, crucial or or sorry coin rule Murdex and Nobi Nobi or Nobi right I'm not going to go into too much of that but this is a uh, uh, um uh, God XDC devs um. Um, the forum and it's a community of two two thousand one hundred and thirteen members. Um, you can vote on the XCC network for changes, etc., and all that kind of stuff. But they put out information here on the XCC development and what's happening with the XCC uh, network. Um, moving on from that particular document, we have trade for, trade for next. Um, dot org, and um, this is XDC protocol, a common standard. Uh, the this digital uh, protocol protocol for trade finance securitization. Ooh, getting through this, uh, they have features um, prevent um, fraud through transparency. We can move on. XTC uh, liquidity for trade finance, um, historical and present day. Um, I will put links into this description for this because I think it's important for you guys to go do your own research. So if I put the links in, you can go and do your own research and you can also do other research along the research that I've done to get you these documents. That's entirely up to you. So the XTC network, um, or the XTC protocol allows you to hold scrutinized trade finance assets or ne negotiable instruments in a fully tokenized digital form in your industry. They can then be transferred between financial institutions or on a peer to peer network without any risk. Um, uh, the tokenized assets can be settled with digital fiat cash of, of choice usd eur jpy japan coin i guess aud cad gbd sgd hkd and many more issued on the network of the xv network or digital assets uh, for the xv xdc nodes or on cloud or even personal or computer or company computer sorry that was a little bit butchered but 
some of that read, I was like, wow, do my nutting. Anyway, ecstasy for uh, liquidity for trade finance background. Ripple has successfully showcased the use case of digital assets on a decentralized network XRP. Remittance um, companies can use the liquidity of X XRP across cross borders to process faster retail payments. XD XRP built on its liquidity from USD of 25,000 per day to approximately 2 billion per day. Historical, uh, you can go and look at um, this yourself, but um, uh, I will put, like I said, the, the links into the description for all of this anyway. Moving on. The Electronic Trade Document acts what um, act. What next for mass adoption of electronic bills for la lading e-bills? Uh, I think that says e-bills, I'm not quite sure. The Electronic Trade Document Act. What's next for mass adoption of e-bills? I'm going to call it that. Uh, it may be EBLS. Um, actually, let's stick with that. On the 21st, uh, uh, 20, on the 20th of July 2023, the government in the, the fuse on trade dis digitalization, digitalization by recognizing electronic bills of lading EBLS, EBLS under UK law. This marks a long journey for the UK from project unofficially called the EC Connect in 1998. And this is how long this damn thing has been in progress since 1998. Stated by BP and Shell to digitize, uh, and this, this, these companies, BP and Shell, wanted to digitize tanker bills of lading in order to solve the legacy aspect of electronic title transfer, the company lobbied Parliament to update UK law to recognise EBLS. As it turns out, it took until last month for that to change with the passing of the Electronic Trade Act document. And I will put a link in the description. You guys can go and have a look for yourself. Seriously, you need to do this because it's important that you understand. Um, and this is still with the the, the document, the East, the ICE, um, ESDC, CS document, um, electronic trade finance. Um, I see e digital trade IDT provides digital global trade management solutions that extend an document. Uh, document your existing capabilities. They have many things, self management, instant assets. You guys can have go have a look at this because I will put links in the description. I said, as I, as I said, um, there's an awful lot to go through, and I don't want to make this too long. As I said, this will be long, but I don't want to make it too long. Come on, let's l let me have some time and peace for myself because this takes an awful lot of thinking about and um, trying to get the documents and find these documents. Research, research is always the key when it comes to this market. Um, anyway, I'm going to move on now. Wrapping things up, here's a video from uh, Tr Trade Global by uh, Finance Global and here it goes. And spread the benefits of digitized international trade and trade finance. So today we're talking about how we can accomplish these goals, and, and with the help of UNCTRAL and the model, the model law on electronic transferable records, I think there's some really exciting opportunities for headwinds. And I'm delighted to be joined by Luca Castellini, joining us from Vienna, Austria, um, who works at UNCTRAL. Luca, thank you very much for joining us on Trade Finance Talks TV. Thank you, thank you for inviting me. It's a great pleasure. Likewise. So, quick introduction in no more than 30 seconds or so. Who are you, where are you from, and what do you do? I am uh, from Italy. I studied uh, mostly uh, comparative law, private comparative law, international law. I started my career both teaching and practicing. 
in a small law firm in Torino, Italy. Then I joined some 20 years ago, the Office of Legal Affairs of the Secretary of the United Nations. And I did uh, different things in the last 20 years, but most of the time I was with the Secretariat of the United Nations Commission on International Trade Law, which is, uh, as you said, based here in Vienna, Austria. And of course, I'm very happy to talk to you. And you, you will get my personal views. Uh, these will not be the official views of Antra or of the United Nations. I hope you'll be happy with that. Sure, sure, absolutely. So let's go into a bit more detail on the model law on electronic transferable records or, or MLETR or MELITA for sure, which was created by Intertron, I think, in 2017. Can you outline the impact on, on, on this and what it's had on international trade since its introduction? Of course, um, MELITA, I, I, we all like this name. It's, it's, it's a very nice name. As you said, now she's at six. She was adopted in 2017. Melita came to address a specific problem, uh, which is the possibility to use in electronic form what do we call transferable uh, documents and instruments. But these are uh, documents and instruments that incorporate, it, traditionally incorporate in, in, in the paper the possibility to uh, ask for uh, the payment of a sum of money or the delivery of goods. So we are talking bills of exchange, bills of lading, warehouse receipts, promissory notes, so on and so forth, checks. There were attempts to address this issue before, especially for the bills of lading, but uh, for different reasons, they didn't go as expected. And I have to say that uh, Melita came at the right time because it came just before the pandemic. And, uh, and therefore the need to complete uh, the digitization of, of trade documents became even more evident because there was a, a, a real urge to get over paper. So, right. One of the reasons, as you heard it there, is to get rid of paper. They, like they want to get rid of uh, um, fiat currencies, paper money. Here's the thing. Trade finance is here to stay. We are moving over to a, a, a digital age when it comes to trade finance. And it has to start there in, in terms of if you want to transact with other countries, um, your goods, your services, etc., etc. So trade finance is clearly... And a, a key and important part of the transition from fiat to digital. So, with that all said, I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope I haven't made it too long, and I hope you found it informative um, and not financial advice. But maybe you want to look at um, XDC, and you can get XDC on BitTrue, and there's many other, uh, other exchanges you can get it on. Um, do some research because this is this will, will will make your life a lot better and if you are um are looking to get xdc um like i said there will be a link in, in the description i will put um where i get my xdc from and it's from bit but you have to um deposit usdt or usdc or xrp or one of the other trading um tokens that they have on the platform in order to get um, XDC, you have to trade into it. So it would be like XDC, whether it be uh, Ethereum, sorry, or XRP, Bitcoin, or whatever it is, or whatever the trading pairs they have on the platform, you need to trade into that to get the XDC. XDC will and is a valuable uh, currency, but not right now because it one hasn't one hundred percent has not been adopted to. Um, the laws have just been passed. Uh, three other countries need to get catch up with it all, uh, and and adopt this this um, uh, digital finance or trade finance. Um, sorry, trade finance documents whereby you don't need to um, go across to a country to sign a document, whereas you can sign it digitally. This is where we're going. Anyway. Digital lifestyle out. I've gone on long enough. Subs like and subscribe. Take care of yourself. Bye.